Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Luce if you're new. So today I finally have a video out for you guys. I haven't posted in like a month and that's because the last month of school was testing and I was getting all crazy and I've just been really busy and my family is really, really loud so I can't really film. And now I share a room with my, my cousin. I will do an update video for you guys because there's so much stuff going on. But today I was finally able to film and I asked you guys, I asked a poll on Instagram and the poll was, would you rather see me use my mom, like full face using my mom's makeup or you guys choose my makeup look? And the you guys choose my makeup look one, if you could tell by the title. So today I posted multiple po polls on my Instagram. All my social media will be linked down below. And this is the look you guys came up with. And I actually really like it, but I feel like I would wear this for like Christmas or something. But yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking. And yeah, let's get started with this video. Okay, so the first poll I did was primer and I chose either the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer or the Maybelline Master Prime. You guys know I use this. So the Maybelline got 44%, like people voted. Like, you know what I mean. And then this one got 56%, so I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild. I only use this once. I mean, I just feel like it doesn't do anything for my face, so I'm gonna just put this on my face. And it comes out white. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. I'm gonna fix the lighting first and then I'll do my eyebrows. Okay, so hopefully the lighting's better now. So the two eyebrow products I chose to do, which are actually the only eyebrow products I have, but it's the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown. You guys know I used to use this on this channel, but lately I've been using the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the shade neutral brown I, I just bought this recently and i love it but the elf one got 44 percent and the anastasia got 56 percent so i'm gonna use this today i actually like this one because it's so much precise like i could control it and this one like the little tip isn't that skinny so it's not the best to be precise Now that I have my eyebrows filled in, sadly I can't do like a poll for concealer because I only have two concealers and they're used for separate things so I didn't really want to like place a poll which one to use. So I'm taking the Maybelline Master Conceal um, Concealer in light to medium and I use this to carve out my eyebrows. So yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a choice of concealers to like do a poll on but it's no biggie this very small brush like you could hardly see it and I just carve out my eyebrows if you guys want a full-on tutorial on how I do my eyebrows like an updated version because I think I already did a video then let me know in the comments but yeah And that's how I do my eyebrows. I know it looks crazy, but it'll look good overall. Now that I look halfway insane, I'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender and yeah. Okay, now that my eyebrows are nice and done, I'm going to do foundation. Now, y'all know that I don't wear foundation like at all, so I only have these two choices of foundation. So the first choice was the Maybelline um, Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. 
foundation and this is in the shade what shade is this 220 natural beige so yeah I mean I don't really care for foundation and then the next choice was Revlon nearly naked in the shade what shade is this 190 true beige so this one's a pretty old foundation like pretty much no one uses it so what I expected was this one to win and that is true so this one got 71% and then this one got 29%. So I'm only going to be using a little bit since I don't wear foundation and I think it just makes my face look dry. And yeah, this is my natural skin. If you can see, I have pimples and real bad acne, so... If you can hear the TV in the background, that's because I live with my family, so this is why I don't really film that much because they're always so loud, so like I can never film. Okay, so I just put a little bit because you could still see like my bags and my pimples and stuff, but I'm just gonna finish off the face because this I didn't have a pull for, so it's just concealer and powder. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Beige. And then I'm using my Physicians Formula Powder. I'm sorry I couldn't do a poll, but I don't have that much makeup. Like, I don't have choices for these. Like, these are, like, the only ones I have. So, other than that, everything else has a poll. So, I'm just going to do my face off camera real quick. Okay, so now that I have my face done... I look very, very, very pale, and that's just because I have a bright light, like if you could see the shadow. I have a bright light in front of me, so it's making me look very washed out. So now we are going to do bronzer. So the first bronzer is a Wet n Wild one. I have like a lot of Wet n Wild makeup, and I didn't even realize. But this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection um, Shimmer Palette. And this is in Carnival and Rio, so it's just a really big bronzer. And it's actually really pretty. And then I chose the Victoria's Secret Literati bronzer that I used to be in love with, if you can tell. So the Victoria's Secret one got 88% and the Wet n Wild got 12%. So of course I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild, I mean, not the Wet n Wild one, the Victoria's Secret one. go so now that I have a little bit of some bronzer now I'm going in with blush which I actually never wear I never wear blush so yeah so I decided to put it in here just so you guys can choose blush ended up getting 56 what? so for blush I chose the Tarte blush and fanciful and then the wet and wild blush and brush with brilliance this one got 44% and this one got 56%, which I'm actually happy because this one, this Wet n Wild one has way too much glitter that it's not pretty whatsoever, but I still have it, so. I just feel like sometimes for me, blush just doesn't do anything. For highlighter, I have the Wet n Wild, of course. Like, everything I have is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in the shade Catwalk Pink. And basically this just has different colors of highlighters. So this one got 44% and then the Tarte one in Stunner got 56%. So I'm going to use this one. to be using a Luxie 207 Medium Angle Shading Brush. I don't know why, but I like using this for highlights. eyes I decided to do two palettes and I chose two of my favorite palettes actually so I have my first palette ever that I've ever gotten with my own money or in general I got the Lorac Pro 2 palette and y'all know this is probably my most loved palette this one got 59% so yeah and then I also chose my second favorite palette the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and then this one got 41%. We are going to get started with the eyeshadow. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a crease brush and I'm going to go into LT Brown 
and I'm just gonna put that in the crease. To deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to be taking mocha and then some cocoa on a Real Techniques, what kind of brush is this? A domed shadow brush. And I'm just gonna apply that into the outer corners of my eye. And then taking my crease brush again, I'm just gonna go more in cocoa because it's darker. And I'm gonna apply that like real, like really, really dark on the outer V. Now I'm going to do a little like um, cut crease kind of thing. So I'm gonna take the concealer I used to carve out my eyebrows and a really, really skinny brush. This one's from Real Techniques. Also, this is a fine liner brush like it's super super small you can hardly see it and I'm just gonna cut out more like a half cut crease kind of thing I don't know we're just gonna see how it turns out so what I like to do is apply a little bit on my lash line and look up and it transfers it so that's where my line is gonna be taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be taking try the snow color it's like a white shimmery shade and I'm just gonna apply that right there now I don't know what I'm doing honestly I'm gonna use my finger okay now I also did a pull for wing eyeliner or standard and it was 50 50 when I checked it, so. So since it's 50-50, I'm just gonna do whatever. I'm gonna try a standard one, and then if it turns into a wing, it does, but as y'all know, I can't do wing eyeliner, so. This is the Aurora Intensely Precise Eyeliner. Dang, this is waterproof. It probably won't come off at all. Okay, so I tried my best. I did this eye off camera as well. I did somewhat like a wing kind of thing. So the next thing is mascara. So the two mascaras I decided to choose are both from Maybelline. This one's the Great Lash Mascara. And then this one's the Colossal Big Shot. This one got 35% and this one got 65. So I'm gonna be using this one. I don't really care for this one, but you know what? You guys picked it, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, so there are the eyes and the face. So for the last part are the lips. So the two lipsticks I chose are both from Revlon. The first one was Black Cherry. So it's just a dark purplish color. And then the second one I chose is a red staple color. This one is in Love Is On. And the black cherry got 41% and then the red one got 59. So I'm gonna be using the red one and it kind of matches my shirt. So it's like perfect for this look. Okay, so this is the final look. I feel like I would wear this for like holiday. I'm sorry my face looks so washed out. It's just a big old light I have in front of me. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I promise I'm going to be posting more. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.